Welcome to The Author's Journey with number one international best-selling author and in-demand publisher, Rebecca Hall Greider. Today, we'll showcase the works of an amazing best-selling author, find out the story behind their book, and explore ways to bring your message powerfully forward. Now, here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone, to The Author's Journey. Honored to be connecting in with you as we get to talk with amazing, transformational, wisdom-filled, best-selling authors that have gone on the journey to bring their book forward and have it received in the world so quickly and powerfully as a bestseller. So we get to today pull back the curtain and really have a candid conversation with our amazing guest as they share in their words what the journey has been like. So I'm excited to have each and every one of you joining us. Today, our expert specializes in wisdom. And we're going to talk about how to share your wisdom with the world. We're going to learn in how she did follow in her footsteps and gain some tips and wisdom and insight on how we can bring our wisdom, our insights, our gifts forward. So we're in for a treat today. Really looking forward to the conversation, and I want you to be able to get the most out of our time together today. So my tip is to have a piece of paper handy and your favorite writing utensil so that you can write down those things that touch you, that impact you, that spark an idea so that you can start to gain and and gather those tips and tools to support you on your journey. So that paper and pen ready, be leaning in with eager anticipation as we continue our journey together. So let's take a deep breath as we connect in, become fully present. Beautiful. And it is my privilege and honor to introduce our guest. Hala Ayla is an Iraqi American artist number one international best-selling author, a spiritual counselor and teacher living in Northern California. She has taught the Enneagram and the Soul's Path internationally. She is the creator of the Wisdom Book, the Wisdom Oracle Deck, and the Wisdom Journal, all part of the Wisdom Incubator Project designed to bring greater compassion and understanding to the world. She's passionate about helping you step forward more deeply and purposely in your truth and helping you bring great compassion, love, and understanding to the world. Please lean in. Warmly welcome the dynamic, powerful, and wisdom-filled Hala Ayla to the show. Welcome! Uh, hi, thank you, Rebecca, for that uh, introduction. Appreciate it. You are so welcome, and I'm excited to have you joining us today. And I know our listeners are going to enjoy all that you have to share with us. Congratulations on your most recent book coming forward and being received as a number one international bestseller book. So, congratulations! Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. And I know this is a busy time of year, and it's especially busy after you release your book. And so I'm very honored that you were able to carve out time for us to to talk with you Mm -hmm. and really hear in your words why everything is fresh, (laughs) what the journey has been like. So I wanted to start with, one, why is this project important to you, this Wisdom Incubator Project, and in particular, this book that you were called to bring forward? Why is that work and this project and this book so important to you? Well, if you look around you um, in the world and the situation in the world, you, you realize that we really are in a crisis of wisdom, or I should say a crisis of lack of wisdom, because so many decisions and choices are made uh, without real deep thought or consideration as to what's happening, what will happen in the bigger picture as a result of some of the choices and decisions that a lot of leaders around the world are making, the wars that we have all over the world. And um, also, personally, a lot of people are finding uh, a lot of difficulty at this time. 
And so I, uh, I have been studying the path of wisdom, which is really the, the path of the soul, for 35 years. And um, during COVID, I um, really was focused on creating art. I would literally spent the entire two years creating piece after piece. It just came, poured out of me. And I, so I decided to combine the, um, the art that I was doing with 35 years of knowledge, of study, of um, research, and in, in from all of the, that I took, extracted, extrapolated, and uh, put together into this wisdom uh, book and the wisdom journal and the oracle deck as a companion to people so that they can delve into a greater understanding about what wisdom is really about and how they can um, make better decisions, wiser decisions in our life. Because we can't rely on, on the leaders out there, we really do have to rely on ourselves and on our uh, immediate community to make better decisions. Mm. So that is really the birth of the, the book, and, and it came from seeing a lack in the world. Mm. I, yeah. I love that you took action, you know, seeing this lack. Sometimes we can um, contract or withdraw or be so torn up over a lack that we see, we don't necessarily take action. And I love that you leaned in to take action, help fill that gap and bring your beautiful art and this wisdom that you have discovered over so many years together into a tool that can really walk beside people. I think that's really, really powerful. And I feel like your book has this powerful these powerful images, your art that is, you've woven in along with powerful insights, but you were very concise in the insights. I'd love for you to, because I know that was very mindful and deliberate. So I'd love for you to share about that. Um, well, the, the the coming together of the art and, and the, um, the teachings was just kind of like me bringing parts of myself together because I'm mm-hmm. an artist and I'm also uh, been so immersed in the spiritual path for for so long, really uh, decades, mm-hmm. and so it was kind of an in- inevitable marriage of, of two things. And I think you know I like picture books myself. Mm-hmm. I mean, I love to read uh, uh, I love to read p- books anyway. But like coming having teachings with art next to it, kind of is. Is, was a really fun way for me and a real sort of more uh, a creative way for me to offer the teachings and more made them a lot more easier, easy to read because it's, it's one teaching per page for 52, the 52 weeks of the, of the year. And with each of these teachings, there was the, the, uh, the art that went with it. And the art, they complement each other. So they, mm-hmm. the art has the symbols that sort of are working with the unconscious, working with the subconscious, and then the teachings are working with the conscious mind. So I'm trying to target all three minds that we have. We have a conscious, a subconscious, and an unconscious mind. So it was kind of, in a way, um, you know, uh, one complemented the other, and it was um, was probably easier for people to, to get on those levels. So that's why I brought those three things, uh, these three, well, these two things together, the art and uh, the teaching. Beautiful. And just as I'm listening, as, as you're sharing, I love how you brought all of you together. And I'm just thinking for any of our writers out there, that's a really great tip to reflect on and think about how are you bringing all of you into what you're creating and bringing forward and really being strategic and thoughtful about the reader. How can you serve them in all of their parts with all of you that you're bringing together powerfully? So I, I just love that you did that. You were so mindful and thoughtful in what you created and wove together. And I'm curious, as you did this and you brought it to the world, did you have any surprises, anything that you you didn't know till you knew that you had to navigate around that you might give some wisdom or tips to fellow writers out there. Well, I mean, it, 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 I mean, I think the writing journey is all creative journeys full of surprises. I mean, you enter it yeah. with an idea, and then it, the idea sort of takes you on this journey that you didn't expect at all. So it's all full of surprises. It's just you know, hanging in there <laughs> as you go through a bit of a roller coaster sometimes in the writing journey. But I started off 
because I'm, uh, I do um, uh, I do sessions and readings uh, for people, and I've done like the t- tarot sessions for, for years, and worked with the tarot, and then I've worked with all these other wisdom teachings, and so I started off doing the wisdom oracle deck. That was the start of it. It was like, oh, here's the art, here's all these teachings, and I could put them together in this uh, oracle deck. And and once I did that, I was like, oh, wait, I'm going to write a book and and then expand on these teachings. And it went to the book. And then I was like, oh, wait, I've just done the book. Why don't I do the journal? So it was like I didn't I didn't start out with I'm writing a book and I'm I'm doing a journal. So I think that's a really important part. And I think uh, to to uh, to start just begin begin mm-hmm. with the idea. And obviously, I had no idea it was going to be, you know, international number one, international bestseller in 10 countries. I mean, that was, you know, beyond what I expected to happen and imagine. So, um, yeah, I just began. And then I was like, oh, this is really fun. I love this deck. And my deck is doing really, really well out in the world right now. And so then it was the book and and so on. So, um, yeah, that was the process for me. It was just a surprise after (laughs) one surprise after the other. (laughs) But But I I I love that you were open, you know, open to allowing it unfolding and, oh, let me do this and that you found joy in the journey. I don't always hear that. I love knowing that. Yeah, no, it was, uh, and it was not always, uh, you know, joyful. It was sometimes scary. I was like, oh, my God, am I really going to do this? And it was, Mm. uh, so it wasn't, um, it's not always easy, and it's not always fun, and it's not always, uh, like, uh, there's challenges. There's going to be challenges, and I think that's why we do it, because we need to to challenge ourselves from every now and then and and to sort of overcome these challenges and, and grow stronger in our perception of ourselves and, 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 and the ability to expand our talents and gifts and, and all of that and how we present them to the world and to ourselves even. So sometimes it was challenging, but I stuck with it. I just was mm. like, okay, I'm doing this. You know, I'll do it 10 times if I have to. And, and sometimes I did. Mm. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't want to make the, the journey too flowery. You know, sometimes it has, you know, there's few things that you have to sort of override. Um, and, Thank you uh, for so, sh- sharing that. I, I think that's really important that there's a whole spectrum of emotions as well as things that you navigate. And that key, the wisdom about starting and keep going and embracing what comes, the new ideas and continue to move it forward. And if you had to redo it 10 times, you did, but you kept going yeah. forward to bring this work to the world. So I just, I celebrate that. Congratulations. And I love you, you reached, as you mentioned, 10 countries, which is phenomenal in your launch, which is a short period of time to reach 10 countries. You actually hit 134 best-selling categories with 41 of them ranking number one. Congratulations wow. on your huge, huge Thank success. You. You're welcome. And that just shares with me how much wisdom is hungered for and needed in the world and how many people are resonating with what you're bringing forward. So thank you for saying yes and being willing to go through all the hurdles (laughs) to bringing forward (laughs) your vision to support so many people. And that was just the beginning. That was even before you had your print version out as well. So I can't wait to, to see see how it continues to ripple out in the world. Well, Mm, we are getting ready to go to our first commercial break. And as we do, listeners, I want you to think about some of what Hala has shared with us already and see what's sparking you, what is pulling at your heart and spirit. Maybe there's something that's touched you, an idea of something you want to pursue. And when you come back, we're going to share with you how you can connect and go deeper with Hala, how you can tap into all of her resources, including her book. So continue to have that paper and pen ready. Enjoy these two minutes and we'll continue our conversation shortly. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. 
Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Streaming live, the leader in Internet talk radio, VoiceAmerica.com. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you wrote down some great tips, insights, things to consider. And I also think these are things that can apply to our life, whether you are a avid reader or you yourself are a writer. How brilliant is it to remember that challenges come, <laughs> that life is a creative process, that we, we keep going. We don't stop because there is a challenge or something is difficult. In fact, I loved Hala's perspective that sometimes that's why we have them is to grow, to tap into more, to learn, to evolve. Those challenges can help us do that. Really great wisdom and tips already on our journey. Well, I'm excited to continue our conversation with Hala, and we've been talking about her book that was recently released. And with that, Hala, I think in my excitement, I didn't have you share the full title. So can you share the full <laughs> title of your book thinking. and where we can get it? <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking I'd better share the title. Uh, so it's called The Wisdom Book, Guidance from the Ancients. 52 Timeless Truths to Help Navigate Today's World is the full title. And in uh, it, on uh, the 17th of December, it will be out on Amazon um, Booksellers, so you can get it there. And, um, yeah, uh, just type in the Wisdom, journal, uh, Wisdom Book or Wisdom Journal or the Book of Wisdom. It's actually showing up in both Wisdom Book and Book of Wisdom, so try both of those and on Amazon. Oh, I love it. I love it. So we can find it on Amazon and Kindle and print format so people can choose their, their favorite way yeah. to connect That's and right. enjoy mm-hmm. your your beautiful um, book and, and material and images that have been created. And I'd love, I, I know that you've prepared a reading, and I'm really excited about that because it gives us a little bit of a taste of your beautiful book. So I'd love for you to share your reading with us. Yes, I, I chose um, I chose one of the teachings from the book called Life Purpose because it seems to be a big uh, a big ask. For, a lot of people ask this question to themselves, to each other, to to the world, really. And uh, it's it's like, what is my purpose in this life? And um, even though we have basically each human has seven basic uh, life purposes or life focuses. Uh, we, as a humanity, we share two of them, and I want to share. I want to share those two that all humanity shares, whether where, wherever you live, how old, uh, whoever it, you are, it, it's those two two life purposes that we share, and they are basically uh, that we are here to learn to have fun, and that seems trivial to many people. Is uh, have fun? That's our purpose. Yes, it is. We are here to learn how to be happy, how to have fun, how to enjoy life, how to really be able to uh, navigate life in a way that is is light and, and not as serious as, and struggling as it is for so many of us. So it's uh, this sort of fun thing is totally not a trivial trivial pursuit, but a very, very serious and important one in our soul's journey. I mean, it, it, we're here to really express what it is uh, that is fun for us at this time in our lives, whether we're 18, it's going to be, have, be a whole other definition of fun than we are in, in our 60s or 70s. So it's redefining fun, redefining what it is to, to be happy, how, what brings me happiness now, and actually go out and make it happen, pursue it. 
as a path because it's a really, really important one. Uh, you can't help the world and you cannot help yourself if you are not in that space, not in that resonance, uh, which which is that resonance of being delighted by life, being happy about the gift of life. So that's the first one. The second one is really about learning how to consciously create your success, to be able to go out and make things happen for yourself. And so that is the second very important uh, purpose that we all share. So those two things, um, yeah, go out and make, you know, make, if you want to make, uh, you want to write a book, make it happen. Get it off the shelf. Get it off from your dream state to actualizing it. Um, and um, do it with fun and, and pleasure and enjoyment as much as possible. And if it's not fun and enjoyable, then make it fun and enjoyable. Find ways to make it fun. So those are the two life purposes that I would like to share. There are five others for us each individually. You know, mine happen to be communication. It happens to be service. It happens to be love. Different people have different ones. But mm-hmm. the main two, two that we all share in common are those two I just mentioned. Beautiful. I love that. Great wisdom, great insight and perspective and the importance of joy. And I love that, that if you want to do something, bring something forward and it's important to do so, find a way to make it fun. <laughs> bring that joy into the, way, the experience. Yeah. yeah. yeah Beautiful. Exactly. Beautiful. Great. Yeah. And then did you, was that the, the direct reading itself or was that preparing well, us for the that reading? Was I a, just want to make sure. Synops- yeah, that's a synopsis of the reading. So that, oh, was, perfect. That, that was it, really. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I wasn't missing. I synopsized <laughs> it because it's, rather, it's long. It's going to take more than a few minutes, but that's really it. Oh, no, it's wonderful. Really, really great information for us to be able to think about, reflect on. This is a perfect time of year as we're stepping into the new year and being able to bring that wisdom into our heart, into our spirit, and into our life. Thank you so much for sharing. Really, really beautiful insight. And Mm -hmm. as we go back to your book, and I know that you mentioned earlier that you had combined your art with the weekly shares, the 52 different shares, the wisdom insights. I know you also were very thoughtful in what, how you put the cover together. And I know we've shared what the full title of the book, where to find it, but I'd love for you to describe the cover. So when people are looking online, they recognize, yeah. oh, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I am... Um... You know, I uh, the cover, I, I was in Egypt last year. I've been there many times, but I, I led a group uh, of, of sort of, of friends and, and, and uh, people to Egypt last year, exactly a year ago. And we went, obviously, into the temples, and which are some of the most beautiful sites in the world, so well preserved, and, and a lot of them were... Uh, you know, uh, dedicated to this god, god or this goddess. This the cover. My cover is um, is a snake um, uh, coming out of a papyrus, um, and it is uh, it's, it's a beautiful golden color. And I remember remember I took it in the temple of Hathor, and uh, she's a god. She was a goddess, and um, it's, the snake part of it is. A, a, was very, very important as a symbol of transformation. So I wanted this book to have a a sort of, some people know that, you know, um, snakes are about, you know, get scared about snakes, but really the symbol is that you can shed your skin like a a snake does. Uh, And it's so important in this day and age to be able to look at your life and look at places where you need to let go and sort of renew yourself. And so um, I chose the, this, uh, this symbol and this uh, piece from the, from the Temple of Hathor, um, a beautiful, beautiful temple in Egypt, uh, so well preserved, all colors and everything. So anyway, so that, the cover was that. And the, um, the papyrus is also, of course, they were the first um, creators of paper, and so since paper and papyrus and and all of that so related to book writing and, and all of that, so I thought that was also an important little wink. 
Oh, so that was the, that's the cover. Thank you for describing it and the reason why those images were selected and, and brought forward. And I love that additional perspective on the snake that we can shed our skin and become more who we are and even choose and transform um, on our path. So I, I love the power of that. Well, as you reflect back on your journey and you've shared a yeah. little bit of that with us, do you have any additional tip or piece of advice you'd give to any of our writers out there? Well, I think like anything worthy of your time and effort, I think uh, being committed to what you're doing uh, is super important. And by commitment, you know, you really need to also bring about your courage, you know, courage to to uh, to find your voice and stick with what you want to say uh, with a sense of conviction uh, and perseverance. You've got to persevere with whatever your uh, vision is, because if you do not, it's obviously... Um, it's, it's going to pe- you're going to want to peter out really quickly because it does take this sort of inner discipline and inner conviction that you know I really really want to do this I want to say this uh, because at times like I said it's it's not going to be that uh, sort of easy a ride and I think any writer will tell you you know writing is about rewriting and if you're not committed and if you're not convinced about what you're doing and if you're not going to persevere it's not going to happen so. Yeah. Uh, Stick, stick with your vision, have a vision, have a vision of what you want to say, and and then be open to, like you were talking about, just open to it shifting and changing uh, and having a life of its own and, um, and be flexible and just keep your imagination alive. You know, I think um, uh, the imagination, just like keep your imagination as wide open as possible. And so those are the things that, I, and most importantly, trust yourself. Most importantly, trust yourself. Because even though on a surface you might not know, I didn't know everything at the beginning. I just kept opening, opening, opening. And the more I did it, the more I sort of opened to trusting that I had a voice. And I, it was, it was, it mattered. I think the thing about mattering is super important, that what I have to say does matter. And I think that's probably the most important bit of tidbit that I can offer is that, um, yeah, I matter and what I say matters. So mm, that's wonderful. Those are, those are my helpful hints. <laughs> Thank you. I I love that trusting in yourself and that what you have to share, what's on your heart to bring forward matters and and it makes a difference. You know, there's a a good friend of mine, Kathy Davis, who always says wisdom not shared is lost forever. And we have these opportunities to share what we've been given or discovered and to bring it forward. And it matters. It makes a difference heart by heart, life by life in your unique way, gifting and voice. And I love that you've embraced that and you have leaned in to create something so beautiful and powerful and impactful for the world. So congratulations Mm -hmm. again. Thank you so much for joining us. And I would love for you to share your contact information, and I also know you have a special offer that you are making available to our listeners as well. So remember, everyone have your paper and pen ready, and I'd love for you to share. So um, the best way to reach me and uh, is uh, my email, which is uh, Hala, H-A-L-L-A-Y-Z, W-I-Z-E, HalaWise, at gmail.com. And uh, my my um, website is um, the Wisdom Incubator Project dot com. So the Wisdom Incubator Project dot com, and it has all information about um, the Wisdom book, the journal, the uh, other offerings that I do. I do soul signature readings and stuff like that that are all uh, in the website. Uh, for anyone that wants to pursue or uh, learn more about that. And uh, as an offer, I'm um, offering the first five people who email me uh, a mini reading consultation to help them get aligned with their soul path and and their uh, sort of soul work for the upcoming year 2024. And um, it it will be available sometime in January. It depends when this, uh, 
you know, when this is going to launch. So, yeah, Perfect. that is my offering. Oh, well, thank you so, so much for the, the generous opportunity and the first five. So don't hesitate. Those of you who feel that pull and call, lean in, take advantage of that wonderful opportunity. And can you give us your email address one more time? Yeah, it's H-A-L-L-A-W-I-Z-E, Hallowise, at gmail.com. Perfect. I appreciate it. And one more time, the full title of your book, just in case anyone missed it. The Wisdom Book, Guidance from the Ancient, 52 Timeless Truths to Help Navigate Today's World. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today and sharing. Congratulations again on the success of your book, reaching so many people around the world. And it's just beginning. Can't wait to to see it ripple out into the new year and into the world. So thank you again for joining us. Sure. And- it's been my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me, Rebecca. I appreciate it. Oh, you are very, very welcome. And I know myself and our listeners are leaning in and thanking you too. (laughs) So thank you for Mm -hmm. for sharing so richly with us. And listeners, I want to thank you for leaning in and being part of our conversation today. And I encourage you to reach out to Hala, add this beautiful book to your library. It's very impactful. And the words and the artwork combined just really, I feel like, minister and support you and and your soul and spirit. So I'm very excited the paper version is available and uh, able to add that to my library. I have the digital as well. And I hope that you will lean in and reach out to Holland and continue that conversation. And then for those writers out there, especially as we're stepping into the new year, you might have that goal of bringing your book forward. So I wanted to offer a special gift for you to support you on your journey. It's called the Emerging Author Series, and you can find it at emergingauthorseries.com. It's a collection of nine different eBooks that we've created that are designed to come alongside you and support you on your journey. They include things like frequently asked questions, myths and truths about publishing, what's the difference between publishing and launching, how do royalties really work, how can I leverage this in a more powerful way, or I have an idea, now what? Or I've written it, now what? So any of those steps that you may be going through in your journey, these series is designed to support you. And it's our gift to you. You can download as many or as few that will come alongside and help empower you on your journey. So I hope that serves you. Again, you can find that at EmergingAuthorSeries.com. And as you step into the new year, I want to encourage you to remember to keep reading, keep writing, and take those steps to bring your mission, your journey forward. Have a great week, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you for tuning in to The Author's Journey. Please join Rebecca Hall Greider for another edition of the Author's Journey podcast every Monday on the Voice America Variety Channel. And until we talk again, use some of the tips and inspiration from today's show to guide you as you lean in to bringing your message forward. 